The Appalachian Theater was most famous as a movie theater. But what a lot of people don't know is that it was also home to a number of stage performances, especially before 1950. So for example, you would have traveling acts, and initially they came in on the train, would be here for one night, maybe two, and these would be Western shows, these would be magicians, um, people who did stage performances. In addition to that, there were sometimes school plays that were put on here at the theater. And on other occasions, there were talent shows, beauty contests, minstrel shows, a variety of entertainments that took place here at the theater. Now, originally, the theater had a flat front for a stage, meaning that this curved apron did not exist when the theater first opened. After the fire in 1950, there was some pressure to actually expand the front of the stage because by that point, what are called widescreen format screens were beginning to come into vogue in the theater world. And yes, the Appalachian Theater was an early adopter of the widescreen screen. The first widescreen was installed as part of the renovations after the 1950 fire. And that screen was changed twice pretty quickly so that there was actually a cinemascope screen, which is the widest screen format that was available at the time. That necessitated not only the elimination of any stage performances here because that screen was fixed, but that screen also had to sit forward of this arch that you see around the opening to the stage known as the proscenium. In other words, the curved cinemascope screen actually sat forward of that and curved out beyond the edges of the proscenium. In later years, the sound system was actually a giant speaker that sat directly behind the theater screen, taking up space on the stage. And this meant that other than a handful of small performances that took place in this very narrow space in the curved apron, we really didn't have stage performances here after 1953.